Hi, you're watching Food with Lynn, and thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you the most basic barbecue rub for barbecued pork or uh, beer can chicken or barbecued chicken, whatever you uh, want to barbecue, this is really, really good on. And all it really is is uh, one part, it's equal parts of all of these. One part sh uh, salt, one part uh, ground pepper or, you know, any pepper out of a can or a grinder or whatever. One part paprika and one part brown sugar. Now to save you guys from about 10 minutes of grinding uh, pepper, I've gone ahead and ground up a bunch and put it at the bottom. So anyway, you, I start with my pepper first. It really doesn't matter where you start. You just put... If you're if you want to make like four or five cups of this stuff, you know, do a cup each. And uh, so it looks like I got about a tablespoon of pepper there. So I'm going to go about a tablespoon, roughly, of. I'm using kosher salt. You can use any salt you want to. Kosher is uh, chunkier and it's going to stick better and all that. So now I'm going to try and gauge out my paprika. So let's see, there's one, two, not being very cooperative here, three. Typically I like to get a bigger batch of paprika than this, but this is all I could run up on today. And then you just put uh, the same amount of brown sugar in there. And this is heaping up, so I'm not going to have to do three here. Just do two of these nice heaped ones. Now, if you don't have brown sugar, you can use white sugar. It's fine. It's not going to hurt anything. Now, a lot of recipes you'll see that, that are just really, really complex in what they have and what they use with all of these extra ingredients and celery seed and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, you can use all of that if you want to. But if this is all you have available, these four ingredients, this is the base for a really good rub. And you're going to have to get in there with your fingers uh, to break all of this down. But anyway, there's, there's your basic rub right there. Now, I do like to add a couple of more things, which you can, or you can add them or omit them if you want to. But they're in much smaller quantities at this point. And those are garlic and or onion powder and cayenne pepper. So I'm going to start with the cayenne pepper. I'm just going to put a little bit in here. I don't want these additional ingredients to... Uh, I want all of these ingredients to possibly add up to one part of all of this. So these are just in small quantities based on how much you're making. And you make that call yourself if you're going to add these three additional ingredients in there. And you could also add cumin if you wanted to. You could add uh, chili powder, any of that. Uh, let's see. Yep, that one's that one's still sealed. So let me go grab this other one here. And so, if you're using a quarter of, of a cup of each of these, then you would just have your garlic powder and onion powder and cayenne powder equal up to a quarter of a cup. But once again, as I said, if all you have is a brown sugar, salt and pepper and paprika, you'll be miles ahead of not using anything. And you can mix up as much of this as you want to. You can mix up 50 gallons of it if you wanted to and save it. It'll last for quite a while. It'll last for as long as the spices themselves will last. And that's really all there is to it. And with this, I'm going to make a uh, dry rub for a uh, barbecued pulled pork, which I'm going to do in the crock pot. And uh, so, if you care to watch that video, I'll probably leave a link down below. Thank you very much for watching this. I hope it's helped you out. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.